Welcome to Mika's Kitchen Creations, guys. You have been long waiting for my cooking, and this is our beginning. Today, I'll be taking care of a beautiful, nice, big four pounder here. I'm cleaning it up. I mean, the process is a little messy, but we have to do this, is very critical. So, right now, I'm cutting out the gill, it was cleaned already by the person who I bought it from. But you know, you still have to go through and do your little cleaning. I'm cutting out the gill. This is a big fish, so it is kind of hard. So I use my kitchen shears here and I'm doing my best to get rid of all the little unwanted visitors that I took in with him. So here you go right inside, you look for anything. Look at this little thing right here, cut them out, clean it out. I have to do all of this because I love to eat my fish head. A lot of people are afraid of the fish head, but I love fish head. Go on the other side and cut the other gill out right here. It's in the corner right there. You just cut it off. Look, there's some little red fan looking stuff. They look like fans. So you just cut them right out, cut them out. It's taking me a little while, but we'll get it done right there. And thank you guys for tuning in thanks for the support so far we're gonna give you some good videos moving forward and all the people who have been waiting for me to put videos up based on their request everything is coming soon so as we go along you clean any little thing all those little things out see clean it up and make sure your fish is clean and nice See that little thing right down in there clean everything out every single little thing no unwanted visitors we take them in but we get rid of them see open it clean inside it's a tedious little process it can be but when it comes on to fish you have to clean the inside plus you have to take all the little extra scales off and sometimes even though they clean it up where you bite there's still some little scales hiding all around so you wash him nicely there's not I can't say wash him three times or two times you just have to wash until your, your fish is clean and nice you see what I'm telling you about under the right there there's always some little ones hiding so you got to get rid of it so that when you're eating your fish you don't feel the little scales and those little they feel so awful in your mouth when you when you actually get away on the fish so get rid of everything so you can have your meal in peace can be annoying guys I'm telling you but this process is it's tedious but we'll get over it just bear with me until I clean this little man and then we will start cooking him up see how many times I have to wash him it looks clean and nice So now that we have finished washing our snapper, our Caribbean red snapper guys, we are going to do the second phase of our cleaning process. So normally as Jamaicans, we wash our fish with lime. A matter of fact, any meat that we're cooking, most times we wash with lemon or limes and vinegar. And if you don't have vinegar, use limes or lemons alone. If you don't have limes, you can use vinegar. But I'm using both because I have both. But if I didn't have both, I will, would use what I have. So you don't have to stress yourself. Just use what you have, what is available in your kitchen. So I'm cleaning it down. I use my lemons like a washing brush. So I use it to scrub the fish. Don't worry about the eyes, guys. You see it looks a little pale. Because when you're choosing your fish, you have to make sure that the eyes are bright and nice to know that it's fresh. But whenever you pour vinegar on fish, it normally changes the, the colors of the eyes, makes it a little bland, but it's all right. Sometimes I try to cut these little things off because they tend to stick you in your hand if you don't know what you're doing. 
but because this fish is so big it's hard so I'll leave it alone all right so now I'm just checking to make sure that I got rid of all the little scales there are a few little ones here I'll just brush them off you don't have to worry about washing it again just just brush them off and then we're going to put some slits on the side you know what that is for put a little uh comment in the comment section and tell me why you think i'm putting some big slits in the side here guys i love doing this turn it on the other side do it on both sides i think i'm gonna put three slits on this side so i should have done that on the other side but that's all right it has two but i'm gonna put three on this side put in the comment section and tell me why you think i do that all right now that the slits are on the side i am just try to mix out my jerk paste my jerk marinade i'm going to shower this little guy in the jerk marinade my caribbean red snapper it is so beautiful guys i'm i'm dying to delve into this with my family oh my god i'm mixing this paste out let me get it all mixed in okay remember i'm going to be doing a video showing you how to make this jerk paste so you can marinate your whatever meat fish anything that you want to jerk you can use it to marinate your meat in but now i am putting it all over my caribbean red snapper put in someone make sure you put it on the inside of your fish you 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 got to make sure that inside is seasoned so the seasonings can get and put them all in these little slits now you know why I, you realize why i cut these little slots across the side of the fish to get the seasonings all up in it make sure you stuff it down in it rub it right over massage it into the fish guys and one thing if you have some green vegetables you can stuff it inside of your fish too i'm not going to be doing that today but you can do that as well so we have kalaloo jamaica a lot of americans or canadians may not know kalaloo but it's mostly a caribbean thing if you don't know kalaloo you don't have it use colored greens put other vegetables inside your fish before you actually start cooking it you just see cut it up with your seasonings and stuff it right inside don't be afraid with cooking you can literally do just about anything that that you think you would like but for now we're doing our jerk snapper and we're gonna keep on track so we put look i put the seasonings even in its mouth uh, because as i tell you before i love my fish head okay so i've seen people who say listen to me cut the head off cut the i don't want to see the head i can't do it but not most caribbean people we love fish head that's jamaican style fish head lovers oh my god look at this i love i can't stop massaging the seasonings into this fish you know ooh, la, la, oh my god look at that i just love it i'm getting excited guys yeah those these little things man you have to be careful that's why i rub it in that direction because it tends to stick you in your hand you have to be careful when you're seasoning the fish do not rub it up because or because those things if they stick you it's really painful peace out guys this is it guys yeah so now i'm gonna be cutting up my fresh seasonings here you see me cutting up some green onions so green onions is the first thing that i'm gonna cut up today i just love green onions matter of fact fresh seasonings i love fresh seasonings so but guys as we go along don't forget to subscribe because that is how you're gonna get to see most videos when i post uh hit the little notification bell you're gonna see three options you're gonna see all personalized and none hit all so you will get notified whenever i post a video because i need your feedback guys i need you to tell me what style am i using to cook that you don't use what you would like me to cook next what would you like me to pre prepare for you guys so keep with me jump on my train make sure you subscribe i know i love for you to see what you're subscribing to but in order to to be with me and to see what i'm doing you gotta subscribe and be there so you can follow me and see what we do now i'm cutting some garlic 
what I normally do, I just press it with the knife to get those little trashy part off. Some people, put, I see, put it in a bowl of water or vinegar or something, and it just melts the trash off. I see a lot of chefs do that. Guys, you can also comment and tell me what you do to get the trash easily off your garlic because it can be a little tedious process. Now I'm cutting my green, orange, bell peppers. You can use whatever colors you want so you can have your nice, beautiful color combination because you want your meal to look beautiful as well because they say some people eat with their eyes. So presentation is key. I have some thyme over there. This is escalion right here, the green onions. There's onions, garlic, and bell peppers. So now I am making a little bed in my baking dish. Uh, I'm making a little bed right there with the seasoning. So I'm gonna just lay my Caribbean red snapper on top of that seasoning, a bed of seasoning. So, but I'm gonna leave some behind for later. I'll tell you in a bit. So, but for now, let's just put some in the bottom of the pan so that we can put our little friend to sleep look at that guys i am so in love with seasonings i love fresh seasonings so that's my green onions i'm just putting a little on top there and then i'm gonna get my little man and here we come voila right on top look at that guys oh my god it is too big to even hold in that long dish so i have to turn it sideways let's Let's turn it sideways, guys. Well, it's right, it worked this way. Good, perfect. And then we get some butter. I'm using a little extra butter because what I use is actually plant-based butter. So that's like about a quarter of a stick uh, of butter. You can look in the comment sections and you will see the measurement for the seasonings that I use but for now because usually uh, Jamaicans we do a lot of freehand but in order for you to get yours right I'm gonna have to definitely tell you exactly how much of what I use because some people some people are not familiar with cooking a, a, a snapper so big so I'm gonna put the recipe in the comment section so you can just go down there look and then also tell me when you do yours, tell me how it is. How did it turn out? We, we need your feedback, guys. And that's why I tell you to like, subscribe, share, tell a friend about us, and let us all cook together. It's a family affair, guys. So now I'm putting some seasonings on top, some extra seasonings. So you have seasonings on the bottom. A better seasonings is lay on top. We put some seasonings on the top. We put some on the top. And then we're going to cover with foil so that it can just steam a little bit first. Now, guys, let us take one last look before we actually put this big fish into the oven. Look at it. Take a last look. It is so beautiful. You can go ahead and add different color peppers if you want so you can have a nice beautiful red, green, different colors. But I'm giving it the red, green, and gold, Jamaican style. Look closely at it guys, it's so beautiful. Awesome. Good job. Wow. See with cooking, you can cook fast sometimes, but when you're doing a fish as big as this, you gotta take your time, man. And then we're gonna put the foil. I'm gonna cover it with foil. Usually, fish cooks very quick, so I'm not gonna make it stay for long, like about 10, 10 to 12 minutes, maybe. Yeah, 10 to 12 minutes. I'm gonna let it stay in under the foil so that it gets like steam through get the seasonings and all the aromas circulating in the dish under the foil and um, and make sure the shiny part of your foil is on the outside and the dull part is on the inside right so and then all our seasonings will just 
circulates under there, is trapped under the foil and gets into the fish and further marinates while it's cooking. But we won't let it stay for long. So about 12 minutes or so and then you take it out. And then since it's a big fish, we want to make sure that we get it. All right, so I'm going to put it right in the oven now. This is what it's gonna look like on our first process. So look at it guys, you take it out after uh, 12 minutes or so. Oh wow, look at that. So now we need the color guys. It's, it's kind of not looking dark, so we need to get the color on. So um, I'm gonna put it back without covering. So this time we're gonna leave it open. I'm gonna just add, so I had some remainder of the vegetables that I had cut up earlier. Some some thyme, escalon, same vegetables and then I cut some fresh carrots I don't like to put the carrots in too early because you want them it depends on how you want them I like my carrots a little crunchy but if you want them softer you can actually put them in a little earlier but I like mine just nice and not not too hard not too soft just crunchy because you don't want to overcook your vegetables but the first set of vegetables is kind of overcooked because that what that's what gets into your fish but then this, um, the, the remainder that I have, have uh, put aside is just to top it off. No, this is just like the fresh aromas that we're gonna get. So we have different stages of seasonings, different stages of aromas. Everything is done in stages. When we're preparing a fish like this, guys, we have to be, it's like just careful to get the right taste. All right, so now we have all our little seasonings and our fresh seasonings. We're gonna put it in for maybe another 10 minutes without the cover so that we can get the color. No cover, get the color. All right, so we're gonna look, look at that. We're gonna put it in now after topping it off with some fresh onions. It wasn't enough. You can, I mean, there, you, you just, you can be moderate with your onions because fish, onions goes very nice on fish very nice on fish so you can be moderate with your onions so I'm just adding a few more pieces look at that guys and I'm telling you that's not a small fish it may look small on camera so I'm just testing it to see how soft it it is see the fart goes right through so it is soft enough but we just need to give it a little color and seafood in general takes does not take long to cook so you that's why I just put it in for like 10 to 12 minutes and take it back out that's about 400 350 to 400 degrees and just put it in Wow put it right in the oven no cover this time as we've said before lock him in lock him right in and then look at this guys where we take it out like the next five minutes or so just to make sure that all the little juices that comes out with the flavor and the butter we try to just get some back in the fish in the reduced style so it has reduced so the flavor is higher higher flavor so we just take it up it's a little bit but we don't want to want it to be too much if you, you I'm gonna show you as well in another video how to make jerk jerk sauce separately so if you want additional sauce you can put your jerk sauce on it just the same but I won't be using any extra jerk sauce in this one I'll just jerk roast it and then put it right back in because I poured the juices in it and here we go again final process after another that was about five more minutes now I'm taking it right out making sure it wasn't sticking to the bottom All right look at that guys this is it Wow, beautiful. Look at that. So good. So good. It's juicy. Ooh, wow. Ooh, look at my fish, guys. Look at my. Hey, 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 hey. Come with me, guys. We're going to eat. Woo! All right. Look at that. We're still not done. I have some finishing touches to put on. I need my friends who, and all my followers, all people who are there with me, who usually tells me if anything is wrong. I love that, guys. I love the feedback. 
one of my friends said where's your apron i'm like listen we're not cooking apron today so look at that i may just drop it in back for another minute let me see because i'm pouring some more juices on top of there let's see what's going on oh look at the color guys see i told you put it back without the foil you see that nice and dark you see that Ooh, oh my god so i didn't have to put my fish back another time because it looks good so let's just put a little lemon garnish on it because you know seafood in general we put a little lemon on it to kind of you know what i mean you know what i mean all right so some little twists lemon twist you can just stick one little one right there another little one right there and then another little one right here okay 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 guys i'm beginning to get excited man i, I want to eat right now if i wasn't on camera mm, i would start eating right now but i don't want you all to think that i eat your fish off so i'll leave your fish alone wow and i'm also gonna show you guys when like when we're doing like the escovitch fish i'm gonna show you how because i love fish so i cook fish a lot i'm gonna show you how we just use a little salt and black pepper to fry the fish and no seasons like this look at that guys make sure you subscribe because you i want you guys to just cook with me make sure you subscribe make sure you share like i'm grateful for your support guys especially the people who have been supporting me already man i'm so grateful you guys are so supportive and I, I just love that some of my people will just call me with feedback. So I'm like, put it on the comment section. I don't mind. Put them out there. Whether, whatever you want to say, it's, it's okay for me. I'm doing some plantains. This is not the best looking one. But even when the skin is kind of dark, it's still a good plantain. It's still good. Inside is good. What you call it? They have a thing to say about ugly on the outside and good on the inside. Something about that. I don't remember. But yeah, it's still good. Even if it looks ugly, it's still delicious. It's ripe planting, guys. So we just just cut it in three in in three thirds, basically. It's not fully thirds, but and then you just make some slits uh, like that. Oops. All right, and then like that. You just just cut some slices. This little man is misbehaving, but we'll get him under control. Don't worry about it. We'll just put some slits into it like that. I got this one under control. Mother trucker. <laughs> okay. Alright. And then we're just gonna fry them. That's all. And fried planting is so easy. Super, super easy. So I call my son up to just throw in some coconut oil so it can melt in the pot to do the plantains melt in the pot my coconut oil all right so here it is he's just dropping them in the pot that's all it's quite simple you can make your kids cook with you and show them how to do this start with these simple things a lot of kids nowadays they enjoy cooking when you actually make them learn to cook they love to do it so let them help you in the kitchen teach them everything that you know all right he knows to use a wooden spoon so he doesn't scratch the pot up at least there you go yep and make sure you keep an eye on these plantings guys can't leave them for too long yeah it's not everything but we can do in different stages he's just Put in a few in the pot and if you have a deep fryer go right ahead and just drop them in you don't have to fry them in shallow oil like what i'm doing you can drop them in but this is quick and easy just the same see you just want a little golden brown on one side turn it on the other side and make it golden brown just the same and then after that you just take them out that's as easy as that one two three Fried plantains is one of the easiest little thing to do so a lot of kids be doing it for breakfast a little eggs and plantain as I said before, teach the kids to do it. They, they love doing these little things. I think they enjoy seeing the finished product. <laughs> Especially that it's done so easy. Quick and easy. Quick and easy. Alright, alright. Alright.
right he's taking them out that was quick wasn't it well actually I'm taking them out one by one I'm just using it like a, a garnish for my face so I'm just putting it right around it because we're all gonna have family dinner together so just put it right around so everybody can just take whatever they need when we're ready to dive in okay my garnish is all getting messed up right there all right I shouldn't even be you see my son knows better I'm using this fork in the pot and yet he used the right you see how they were getting dark I told you they cook so easily they say fried plant fried planting is like a man as soon as you leave them unattended bun okay guys now that you have seen my basically my first i i must say my first video to you because all the other videos that i've done before was really just me cooking in my kitchen casually or whatever but no i have start the journey so i would like your feedback tell me if you enjoy the video tell me what you think you needed to see that you didn't see tell me how yours turned out when you did it tell me if you're ready to try ask me any questions you want to ask anything you didn't know put it in the comment section guys it's the first video so I will definitely try and answer as many questions as I can ask them guys I'm here waiting to answer your questions thank you and happy holidays if I did not post this video before the holidays is over